Hi. 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 I am Stephen, and welcome to Namja Gamja. Namja Gamja is my new YouTube channel, and we're going to play some games. I had to turn off the game <laughs> because the game that I'm choosing to play today is uh, it's called Hatoful Boyfriend. Uh, it's like a dating simulator. Uh, you you'll see. See, but the volume on it is really loud. Uh, if you don't know who I am, this is one of this is the first video I think I'm gonna post. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> um. Mm, I was gonna. I was trying to wait until my face looked nicer. <laughs> so I've got acne and and stuff. But um. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm a New Zealander, but I'm living in South Korea right now. And I'm teaching conversation English to adults. And a lot of my students kind of complain because they don't know what to watch to improve their English. And so I thought, I should make videos and record stuff for, my, uh, for them and, and other people too. So if you're watching, click <laughs> on YouTube, click on like and subscribe. And uh, tell, your, tell your friends about it. Once I get 500 subscribers, I can... Um, I can change the name of my YouTube channel to actually be Namja Gamja. Namja Gamja just means man potato, right? <laughs> I'm still learning Korean, so I don't really speak Korean that well, but I thought it sounded cool and it sounded funny. Okay, so I'm going to actually change the thing. Okay, so let's start again. Good. Pigeon Nation. So this is a dating simulator where you're supposed to date pigeons? <laughs> Looks crazy, right? These birds look beautiful. The volume of the music is so loud. It's really Hopefully I can turn that down later. St. Pidgeo Nations Institute. Welcome to St. Pidgeo Pidgeo Nations. What's your name? Yuk. What should I call myself? Should I call myself? My name is Steven. But I'm going to call it Gamja. Oh, no, go back. Damn it. <laughs> I could have called myself Gamja Gamja. So I turned off the volume, and I'll save. Display human portraits. No! I don't want to know what they look like. Cool! I've never played a dating simulator before. <laughs> it looks funny, though. St. Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive curricula, like subjects and stuff, and facilities. <laughs> Ugh, I have a cold right now, by the way. So I'm sorry about that. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say dot dot dot. It's called an ellipsis, by the way. The school is known for one thing in particular. Uh-oh. The school is Japan's. No, the world's greatest gathering for gifted birds. Okay. So I guess this game is Japanese. I don't know. Uh, birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeonations. Cool. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds and different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. <laughs> so I'm not a bird. I'm going to date a bird? It's a long story, dot, dot, dot. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Oh, it's a bird. 
Ryota. Usually you have been ready for an hour by now, Gamja. Overslept. Who's Ryota? Kawada. This rock dub is named Kawada. Oh, by the way, my my cup is um is cool. I got it from CGV. <laughs> this rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. Cool. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Okay. Breakfast was a little hard to catch today, dot dot dot. You don't have to say dot dot dot, by the way. I'm just, I'm being um, a, a silly person by doing that. I can't relax without red meat inside. That's, that's a normal thing, but it sounds gross when he says it. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. Am I supposed to be dating this pigeon? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. And so, Ryota... I hope I'm saying that right. And so, Ryota pulled me along into the school. I am not even in school yet. Today's the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was... Oh my gosh. Atmosphere last year. I'm not going to read all this. You can read it yourself. I need a jingle. I really need a jingle. A tough for building the most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. Anyway, first term. I think we're in two, three. Ryota and I in the same class again. Great. Old faces, new faces. A strange f f thrill fills my heart. I can say that. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. There's no birds. Where are the birds? I hope we all get along. Here's f to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's a, it's a pun. Kazuaki? Kazuaki? Good morning, everybody. Because usually we say everybody, so that's a joke. Err. It's thinking noise. Err. I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. Great. I specialize in math and physics, and also some other things. Why is she talking like that? Zzz. Sleeping. Oh, damn it. ZZZ is a sleeping noise. It's the sound we make. So in like cartoons and stuff, you always see Zs coming out because it's the sound of snoring. <laughs> that kind of sound. <laughs> Do, you like that? Do you like me making that noise? ZZZ. -Z -Z. So if you see ZZZ -Z -Z written somewhere, it means sleep or this is boring and I'm falling asleep. Sir, wake up. It's homeroom. He seems to be something. Creepy. Oh, gross. Can I date the teacher? This quail, this type of bird, is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's he's a famously soporific? Uh, I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't actually know that word. I'm really sorry. This is going well. I've heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. It's an ugly looking bird. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? What is this about? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogani. Mm. This bird is beautiful. Sakuya. What's the, what is that point? I have no reason to speak to commoners. Oh, I don't like this guy. Commoners is what rich or royal people call regular people. So it's actually kind of rude. It's like an upper class thing to say about normal people. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. This guy sounds like a jerk. Oh, well. I guess that's that. Oh, I thought he was going to... That pigeon I was going to date. Hey, hey, hey. That's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself 
can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. Oh, this is me talking. Gumja. I'm Gumja. The system will collapse and will turn into kulaks and dissenters. This is references to communism? Well, when you put it like that, uh, you could at least say your name, Shirogani. Sakuya. Ooh, he doesn't want to talk. Okay. I don't want to date this pigeon. <laughs> it seems this fantail is Shirogani Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. It seems like they're going to use that any birdie joke a lot. He's pretty stuck up. But then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. I don't want to be friends with this pigeon. Sounds terrible. Let's keep going. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryuta and me. If you glare daggers, it means you're looking at someone in uh, an angry way. Ugh, I'm glaring daggers at you. Like, can you see? <laughs> can you see me doing that? I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line in the future. Lunch ready. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Am I going to meet the librarian? Where is everybody? Everyone. Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Oh my god. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Oh. Or not. Oh. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. This bird looks nice. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. There you go. Um, do you want something from me? <gasps> he looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything with you. It's just the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, Hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, they were a little too dense, and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. None of these pigeons seem like pigeons that I want to date. I'm Gamja Gamja! A sophomore, what about you? Dot dot dot. Y your man, Majiki. Majiki? Fujishiro? Majiki? Freshman. Okay, so I seem to be meeting a lot of pigeons. But I'm not interested in any of these pigeons. <laughs> they all seem terrible. Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove. But he seems a little sad. Aww. Poor little feller. Leave me alone. Moody. He's too moody. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today, yeah. Where's all the cool happy pigeons? Now that I... Uh, now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait! Isn't that... What? What's that, Sakuya? Who's this other bird? You should have been instructed not to approach me in school? Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. Oh, this is drama. You have never once been a brother to me. Please don't talk to me again. I hate this bird. I have no time for half-breeds. Oh my gosh. That's so rude. Hey, wait, just a... <laughs> Walking away sound. I guess even even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. Oh my gosh, lots of good words. Eavesdrop. To eavesdrop? This is a really common thing that people do. Uh, to eavesdrop means to listen to someone else's conversation without actually being a part of it. Um, or having permission to listen to the conversation. 
So, like, in public, if you're walking down the street and someone is having a conversation and you hear something, them say something interesting, you might, oh, start listening uh, to it. It's eavesdropping. So, a lot of people think it's very rude, and so if they catch you listening to their conversation, even if it's not a private conversation, they might um, think of you as being very rude. But in movies and in TV shows, and I guess in games, it happens quite often. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. So that's why it says, I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, because it's a little bit impolite to do it. So, if I just said, hey, I, I heard you say something, uh, he might have gotten angry with me because I was eavesdropping. Interesting. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies man, <laughs> Sakazaki Yuya, is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! Oh! Oh! I'm Gamja. Oh! <laughs> you heard the whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no sweat. Oh, no sweat. That's a good one. No sweat means no problem. Don't worry about it. Oh, my pen isn't working. Terrible. No sweat. No problem. I try to say sexy and suave in front of... In front of all of you little ladies. Oh, am I a lady? I thought this <laughs> this game was just... <laughs> okay. It's cool. I'm a lady. Uh, I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that, wa but but that there wasn't too cool. Okay, fine. Cool. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuwa, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Every birdie knows of him. The difference between famous and infamous is if you're famous, you're popular and well-known for good reasons. If you're infamous, you're popular and well-known for bad reasons. So there you go. And you stress the first syllable of each word. So even though it's famous, you say infamous. Infamous, because it's the first in, is the first part of the word. So you always put emphasis on the first part. You're gamja, right? How did you? I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. So I'm a human girl, and everyone else is a boy pigeon. A single poppy in a field of rye. I think he means that I'm a pretty flower? This guy seems a nice guy. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. Crazy. Crazy introduction. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Yeah, he was rude. Aristocrat wannabe dot dot dot. He is an aristocrat, actually. A ge the genuine article in the flesh. He's real. He is... He's a bit of a pain. So good luck. Mon ami, adieu. French. No French. English. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about you, uh, you, ya, yeah. though, probably a twisty business. I don't know what that means. What kind of language is that? Twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Haha, <laughs> that's me! Yay! Huh? Sir? Where's Ryuta? He said he was going to the infirmary. Maybe you should go see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> if I'm cutting and editing a lot, it's because I... Oops, it's because I keep on having to blow my nose. Because <laughs> I've, I've got a cold. I'm really sick. Uh, excuse me? Dot, dot, dot. No birdies here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. Yeah. There's nobody here. Ryota? No reply. The infirmary's empty. Weird! Did he go home already? 
I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. That's good. Whoa! There were all kind of drugs in here. What? What is this? Ethylpa trifi lucio benzene. Are these real drugs? Care to find out? Who is this person? Whoa! The the the, the doctor. The, 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 the doctor. Why am I stuttering? I'm surprised. I'll f I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Mm hmm. That's gross. No, thank you. Appropriate response. That's how I would have responded. Oh, that was one of the pretty birds. Oh, I can date the doctor. Shoe. I want. I want. Me. I don't know how to say his name. This partridge is. I want me shoe. The school doctor. Student can't. Shouldn't date the staff of a school that's gross he's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student buddy but it's such a cool looking bird it's i want to date that bird not the creepy doctor though everybody <laughs> everybody knows that this talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus i don't know medical jargon i don't know that by the way my accent if you didn't know um new zealand accents are more like the british accent so, I mostly pronounce things like British people do, like dance and, and data and stuff like that. But, since I've been in Korea, uh, they're, my students, uh, my students don't really um, understand accents other than the American accent that much. So, sometimes I pronounce things in an American way, especially the R sound. Um, British people and New Zealand people don't really pronounce hard R's, so we say we say water instead of water, water. American people say shopping center, and we say center. New Zealander, things like that. So if you can't understand my accent at first, that's okay because it's different. But not everyone has American accents. In the world, so you should get used to listening to other accents. Uh, what, what is this about? And I never even, uh, even heard him come to the door. Ninja Doctor? <laughs> you don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota. Kawada from 2-3 was supposed to be in be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. So sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah! Funny out of that den of evil. That bird was so pretty, though. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh! I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. Cool, I want to actually play something! I'm just reading stuff! I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. Oh, I can't even choose! I ran in middle school, and it's always fun watching birds hop around. Middle school is actually the American term for, um, for that school. <laughs> uh, the British term is intermediate. And so, intermediate school, or just intermediate. So, uh, elementary school is primary school. Middle school is intermediate. High school is high school, and then university. So, um, so yeah, in New Zealand, we call it intermediate. Intermediate means in between. Okay, okay. I think the club room is on the ground floor off to the side. Let's have a look. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo, coo. This is no pudding for a man. Coo is the sound that doves make. They coo. Coo. <laughs> is that the noise? I don't know. Okosan rejects it. It is a lie. It's a vicious falsification. He's dancing around, around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding, I say. Gotcha. Okosan. All of these birds have terrible personalities. I don't want to date any of these birds. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. He's very energetic. Lots of energy. 
Cool. Ogasan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Coo! Coo! <laughs> Ogasan instructed that pudding be provided for the new members. Coo! But this is no pudding. Out scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by he trusted most. It's very dramatic language. Language. It's squished, squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo coo, spare the jests, young lady. Spare the jokes. This this person, San, is using a very advanced kind of language. Uh like he's like he's kind of rude as well, like a um kinda of like that first pigeon we met. Right. Spare the jests, young lady. An upper class Oh, he used wing attack, it's super effective. That's a Pokemon reference. That's a reference to Pokemon. That's good. I like Pokemon. They'll rue the day. They'll regret the day they crossed Okusan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Ugh. That's gross. Okusan must now train to achieve true pudding. And he's gone. <laughs> he's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? What the, I don't understand what happened just now. But that guy was complaining because he dropped his pudding. And so ended the first day of my second semester at Pigeon Nations. It was my second semester? What about my first semester? I was just... I didn't actually choose any options. I haven't played any of this game. Er, I think we want to choose the class council today. Maybe, let's save. <laughs> and that'll be the end of the first... The first video. Oh, did that save? Oh, yeah, it did. Okay, good. Okay, well, that was a very strange experience. I don't know what I expected of this game. I only heard that it was a pretty funny game, so I downloaded it. And it's, uh, it is pretty funny. Funny, strange, not funny, ha ha ha. <laughs> so, we got a couple of vocab words. So, I'm going to talk about ZZZ. Uh, I'm going to talk about eavesdrop. And I'm going to talk about no sweat. Those are the vocab words for for this time. So, um, so yeah, that's not too bad. So eavesdrop, z z z, and no sweat. That's good. That's good, right? So remember, like and subscribe uh, this video, and um, I'm gonna post some links. If you want to support the the channel, uh, you can click on some links and and donate some money. Even <laughs> that'll be nice. It will help me. And also, I'll provide a link to my Amazon wish list. So if you want to buy me something, that'd be nice. Send it to me in um in lovely Korea. So that's it. Um this is part one. I might do part two uh later on. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I've only been clicking left click on my mouse. Click 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 like that. So I haven't actually chosen anything. Am I gonna be choosing one of these horrible pigeons? Is this what it's like to date guys? Cause it sucks. All of these guys are terrible. Maybe this is the, the whole message of the game. That guys are terrible. <laughs> Guy pigeons, I should say. Pigeons. But anyway, that was interesting. Title. Yeah, see, look at that beautiful, beautiful pigeon. Now I know that it's the gross, creepy doctor. Actually, that pigeon looked very nice. But this one down the bottom, the brownish one. All of the nice looking pigeons are mean. I think that's the message as well. That guy, the nice looking guys are horrible guys. <laughs> Quit. So one of the one of the words that came up was Z Z Z. Uh so three Z's in a row. And that's usually a sleep sound, okay? So uh they kind of sound like this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh, I have a cold, so this is difficult. A snore. It's a snore sound, right? So, if you see someone write ZZZ, it means that they're sleeping, or maybe something is boring, and they're wanting to go to sleep. So, that's cool. And in cartoons and stuff, it's a very common um, thing when some, some person is asleep, and they have little Zs coming out of their head, or coming out of their mouth. Right, that means they're snoring or 
making sleep noises. Uh, to eavesdrop. To eavesdrop is a verb. It means to listen uh, to someone else's conversation without having their permission or not being a part of their conversation. Okay, so usually you do this by accident. You don't mean to do it. Or sometimes if you hear something over here, if you accidentally hear someone say something uh, that sounds interesting to you, you might start eavesdropping to what they're saying. You might start listening to what they're saying without their permission. And it's a little bit rude. Even if they're not talking about something secret and private, it's, um, it's not very nice to listen to someone else's conversation. So if you do it and you get caught, people might get very upset with you. Uh, so be careful. But it's a very common thing that people do, and in movies, and, and in plays, and in TV shows, and in video games, um, eavesdropping is very, very common, right? Uh, because it's, you know, it's a thing that happens all the time. And no sweat. You probably know this one. This one's a pretty common expression. It's no problem. Don't worry about it. Oh, if it means you're trying to tell someone that it's not going to cost you any energy, right? So... If someone says, hey, can you take out the trash? You say, no sweat. Like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I can do that. It won't be a tr big, it won't be any trouble to me. It won't be any trouble. Or um, if someone says, thank you. Thank you so much for helping me. You say, no sweat. Like, it's fine. It was easy. Okay, so it's a pretty common thing, and it's pretty casual language, idiom. It's an idiom. Z, 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 eavesdrop, no sweat.